The hotel you see sit at the top of the mountain, 5,000 feet above the sea level, where the temperature stays a comfortable 19 degrees Celsius all year. This hotel isn't just any hotel. It's a place of luxury with all kinds of things to enjoy. But that's not all. This place is like a hidden paradise with incredible views. But this video isn't about the hotel. It's about a fascinating historical event that took place right here on this mountain summit. What's special about this mountain is that it offers something unique compared to typical beach destinations. We're here to unveil the extraordinary experiences that await you on this remarkable mountaintop, showcasing the distinctive treasures and opportunities that can only be found in this one-of-a-kind place. And it all begins with this road. Wow, we're coming up into Baguio. We're just starting our ascent up into the mountains. Beautiful. So we're just at the base. We still got a lot more climbing to do. So we got three days here. Three days, two nights. We're going to come up into the Baguio region. And it's Holy Week right now. Probably so going to be a lot of activities going on. The road is actually in pretty good shape. Hey, cool my stuff, my friends. Good job, boys. Good job. After traveling for an hour, something caught our eye. A gigantic lion statue sitting beside the road. All right, we got a billboard here. It tells us a little history. This is an iconic symbol of the lion's head representing the entrance of Baguio, getting into the mountains that are up here. And the lion's head is a representation of both the partnership between the Lions Club and this, the municipality of Baguio in partnership and improving the people's lives. What an icon. Hello, como esta? Ah, uh, be cool. Well, they are doing a uh, checkpoint. You gotta pre-register, get a QR code. The temperatures change dramatically. It right, looks like we're getting closer to the top. Nice place. Where's the map say, Charlie? All right, here we go. The manor. Which way up here? I think so. The manor. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, they even got a valet here. Guys, come out, help us out. We'll get out of the car and go park our car. Oh, wow, this is, this is really nice. Got the log cabin look happening. This is the manor, top of the Baguio Mountains in the Piney Wood Forest. It's just beautiful. At the summit of this mountain stands a hotel. And as I explore its heights, I uncover the historical reasons behind why it was built here. This place is more commonly known as Camp John Hay. Nine northwest of Baguio, former summer capital of the Philippines. It was a military installation in Baguio, Philippines. The site was a major hill station used for rest and recreation, or R&R, for personnel and dependents of the United States Armed Forces in the Philippines, as well as United States Department of Defense employees and their dependents. It was last run by the United States Air Force as a communications station. 90 minutes after hitting the beach, our tanks and troops had driven more than 800 yards inland. With an average elevation of 5,000 feet, Camp John Hay, and Baguio in general, is much cooler and less humid than the rest of the Philippine Islands, thereby providing a more familiar mild climate the typical American soldier knows back home. We started singing celebration the windy city has ever seen. In World War II, Camp Hay was bombed by the Japanese on December 8, 1941. Captured by the Japanese army on December 27, 1941, and used for several months to house 500 civilian internees, mostly Americans, who were living in the area. It was recaptured by the United States Army in 1945. The site was turned over to the Philippine government in 1991 and was converted into a leisure and tourist site. Today, the manor at Camp John Hay stands as a magnificent testament to the rich history of Baguio in the Philippines, attracting tourists from all around to this splendid destination. All right, first stop, treetop adventure. Ready to do this, Charlotte boy? Yeah, mommy? All right, Ate. All right. Okay, they got a picnic area, go kart, butterfly sanctuary. All right, we're at the butterfly sanctuary. All right, stage one is what, Charlie? Eggs. 
You should see what this one does, Charles. I think that one is called a bromello or something. Something like that. Look, that's what they like. They like the nectar. Chris, well, we could pay, like, I think we could get four minutes we're going to go go-karting. What do you think? We are moving. Four is driving. Oh, we're going to go right in. Hold on, Chris. Baguio City is renowned for its thriving shopping scene, particularly its array of thrift stores offering gently used clothing, many of which bear recognizable brand names. Even if you're working with a limited budget, you can stock your shopping bag with stylish yet affordable attire. Among the well-known thrift destinations, you'll discover a notable spot at the intersection of Session Road and F. Calderon Street. Mines View Park, that's the outlook. Overlook, scenic view. There are no beaches here, but there are interesting places like Wright Park, named after an American, Governor Luke Edward Wright. Then there's Burnham Park, which is a bit like Baguio's own Luneta Park, and the beautiful Mines View Park. The Mines View Park entrance, pay a little fees, 10 peso per person. Ah, oh, we're getting close, I can see the edge. Oh, I think we're getting close to a view deck. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Right, we are here at the mansion. The boy is excited. He gets to run around. But we are here. The mansion, this is home of the Philippine president in the summer months. All right, we're back at the manor. Pretty nice lodging. It's a good four-star hotel. It's dated but uh, it's very clean. I mean, everything's looking pretty nice. Got some nice furniture. Well, I think dated is, you know, some of the tile work. It's 20, 30 years old, nice place. Anyways, everybody came back from their day trips. So everybody's out doing dining, there's movies, fireplace, all kinds of different stuff. But this is pretty cool. The, this is called the Philippine American Friendship Garden. Symbiotic relationship between America and the Philippines. Having a good night? The campfire is so nice. Jesus falls for the first time. There's a bunch of stories behind this. So in the Philippines, it's they're really big on the Catholic faith and, and uh, the respect to Jesus. And so lots of day stations that are open selling different stuff. The vendors come. This is a beautiful garden. Baguio, this is more than just my story. It's a story of fulfillment, stress relief. And I'm telling you, it is cold. Blankets are mandatory. Rich history and an incredible journey waiting for you in this place. As we say goodbye to this incredible city, we want to extend a heartfelt invitation to all of you. Come and create your own Baguio story, one that will bring you immense satisfaction and stress relief. So all of this is done here on the top of mountains. It was a long, sneaky road that you've seen us come up. I think one of the biggest things that's fascinating is all of this material, be it the construction material, you know, just even ongoing stuff like food, water, and all of this all has to come up that long, windy snake road to get to the top. But uh, well worth it. It's the summertime. We've seen actually the Philippine president. We've seen his mansion here. So that's, uh, that's his summertime resort. Baby. I bet you're cold without me.